Hi, Linda Bowney here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is July 1st, 2022, and the start of our new mini catalog, and also our second um, sale of the year celebration, where every $50 to $100 you spend within the catalog, either the new mini catalog or the annual catalog, you get to pick a free item. If you joined me earlier today, I opened the catalog and showed you some wonderful swaps from both the catalog and the sale. So if you did not catch that video, make sure you head over to my blog, stampingwithlinda.com, or I'll have a link um, within this video to share with you um, the great card swaps from this catalog. But now it is time for my team, Weeby Stampin' Teams, um, blog hop, and we're featuring product either from the celebration or the mini catalog, and I have chose the hippest hippos. I am in love with this set. It is a free set with a $50 order and it has matching dies. And so I am going to do during my tips and technique a video that I normally do on Friday, some tips and tricks to do with this wonderful set. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a piece of watercolor paper. Now I have already die cut this with my stylus shapes and I took my blending sponge and my pool party and I sponged all over the watercolor paper. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my uh, water painters and I am just going to squeeze some water out, kind to put some drops of water right on this paper. Now you can get as many, much water as you want for the water spots. And what it's going to do is to lighten those the sponge and give you watercolor marks. And that's what I want because what I'm going to do next is I am going to grab my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine and I am going to use the dies which match this stamp set. So you get the stamp set with a $50 order and then there's dies that match the stamp set for another $50. And so there is this wave that is part of the hippos and I'm going to go in with this circle and I am going to die cut this to make it look like water. So let's see where I want this. I only want about a fourth of it. So I can use this circle, this technique that I'm showing you. I can use it for a couple different cards. So we're just going to run that circle through, cut it off, and now I have this fun wave with that watercolor look. So we're going to set this aside. And I'm going to bring in another large circle from the stylish shapes. And I have done that with um, the balmy blue and did the same technique so that I have like a sky with some white clouds. And because it's the same size circle, then I can layer my waves onto this card. So we're going to go ahead and add those dimensionals. And let me see if I can get my Bicca tool here because they are not wanting to cooperate. It is very humid today in Ohio, so everything is sticky except what you want to be sticky. Um, and so these are just not wanting to cooperate. So bear with me for a minute. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide where I want that, probably about right there, and I'm going to layer that on top of that circle. I'm going to bring in the hippo. I have already colored um, him out with a gray granite Stampin' Blends, and we're going to 
put him down like about so because then I'm going to bring in my little boat. Let's see, maybe I need him to be up a little bit higher in the boat. I want the boat behind my waves, so that's why I put the dimensionals in there. So we're going to add the boat right about there. Part of the dies even has a little propeller for my boat, so we're going to add that to my boat. I'm going to tuck that down in there. So I've got that. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a note card. These are our note cards and envelopes and I am going to add a piece of, that is not the size note card I want. Let me grab the right size. Here it is. Um, I grabbed the smaller note cards and I don't want them. I want the standard ones. And then I'm going to take a piece of pool party. This actually, um, I had the dimensionals here. It's three and a quarter by four and three quarter and I have run it through my embossing folder, the painted texture, kind of to give um, a wave action look. So we've got that. I'm going to add that to the front of my note card. I'm going to add some adhesive to my circle. I've got my little hippo in his boat. I have done the same technique with a smaller circle with the yellow, again with the watermark for my son. And we're just going to tuck that underneath like so. Next what I have is little sunglasses for my hippo. Again, part of that die set. Now when I first seen these hippos, I thought, oh, they were cute. But now that I've had the chance to work with them, I am in love with them. Now with the little, um, they've got snorkels, all kinds of little things that you can add to your hippo. And it probably would work good if you used our adhesive sheets for the small pieces. But I am just using my Tombow multi-purpose glue. So he's got his sunglasses. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the umbrella. I have already cut that out, but I want to show you a little trick with the umbrella. So we're going to go ahead and take the umbrella, put it on underneath his little arm there. But then I just took part of the umbrella and I cut it out with the designer series paper and now I'm going to go in with my snips. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but there are embossing lines for that umbrella. So I am just simply going to cut along the embossing lines so that that way I can add some paper piercing to this project. Another little fun technique to give the umbrella some different colors. Now you could actually make the umbrella three different papers if you wanted. I'm just going to choose to add the designer series paper. So we've got that. Now our umbrella has a little bit different look on it. Let me slide this so that it matches where it's supposed to. Well, all fingers here. Push it down. There we go. So now my umbrella, my umbrella is two-tone. I'm going to take the words, love you a ton. I cut that out with a little banner, again, from those styling shapes dies. If you do not have the styling shapes dies, you really need them. There is some fun uh, banners, circles, squares. So I've got that down there. And one more thing I'm going to bring in that I have die cut with um, the balmy blue is the little waves, the little splashes. Again, I think it would probably be easier to adhere these if you use the adhesive sheet, um, but I did not. 
use that. I'm just using the, the Tombow uh, multi-purpose glue, but it does work. You just have to be a little more careful not to get too much glue or that it sticks to your fingers. And there you have a lot of tips and techniques to use with the free hippest hippos and dyes that you can get during our sale. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.